So the former uh, New South Wales Corruption Commission has said the public's entitled uh, to know what the courts are doing, and that's why they hold public public meetings, public hearings. You said it should be the same with any anti-corruption body. So why do you say otherwise? Well, I, I'm from New South Wales, and I've lived through what has been, I think, the farce of the New South Wales ICAC. At, at the end of the day, the New South Wales ICAC has, um, I think, disappointed because it just became a vehicle for uh, corporates, for, for bureaucrats, uh, for Chumps. politics, uh, uh, politicians and others just to, to sling mud around. And that wasn't um, elevating or doing anything about uh, improving public administration. Um, and that's why, you know, this will run like a police force. It will actually investigate crimes and ensure that crimes and those who perpetrate them are brought to justice. That's its job. It's not there to provide a sort of a Judge Judy um, uh, daily episode. How do we know it's doing those things that's all happening behind closed doors? By getting the results, by people getting charged, by prosecutions being pursued, um, because that's what we do. I mean, we're serious about law enforcement in this country. We've demonstrated that. Um, we've demonstrated our seriousness about ensuring that criminals get no truck here in Australia. That's why, I mean, Peter and I cancelled 3,000 visas of criminals and sent them home. Um, so, you know, our, our record as a government, as a Liberal national government, has, uh, there, is, there, is, there is no quarter given to criminals under our government. And uh, this new body will um, ensure that uh, that record is continued.